So here we are just stepping on the swimming platform of Fizz. She's a Princess S62. It's an absolutely fabulous model. It's got so much to offer. Uh, and this is an extremely high specification example. It's a model that offers so much and we're just trying to unpack as much as we can as we go through the boat. So just at the after the boat here with this model, we get a uh, tender garage. So in here, we've got a Williams 345 jet tender available by way of separate negotiation, but fits lovely, keeps the clean aesthetics and lines of the boat. It's also got a convenience pack in there, so that gives you a charging point for a floating battery charger, flushing point for when you finish using the tender as well. Also with the shore power, she's got a retraction device, make it easier to handle the larger gauge cables that you get with this boat. And uh, we've also got the electric high-low swim platform that will be deployed for when you launch the tender as well. So as we step up onto the aft deck here, there's lots to point out. We've got the optional extra Lumar electric winches, both port and starboard, easily operated by foot just to pull in the larger lines. I'm just standing on a sort of technical space. So you've got a sp storage space in a lazarette that's vertically accessible here. Life raft storage underneath. And we've still got on the starboard side a letterbox pass rail, full cockpit shower there as well. And then we're into this glorious cockpit aft. Big cockpit, the doors have been pushed further forward, just makes for a fantastic social space. Triple sun pad at the back there, this lovely large table, and easily get eight people around in comfort. And we've just got lots of options fitted on this boat. So this one's got the electric awning, which is deployed at the moment. We've got docking lights. And just over on the starboard side here, we've also got a third helm station. So lots of flexibility is where you can uh, drive and control the boat from, either the lower helm, the flybridge, or on this uh, aft station. We've got a metallic uh, oyster metallic finish on the paintwork. This lovely door that opens up to make it very open, just very sociable. So before we go further in the tour, I just thought it's important just to just to unpack what the S range is all about within the Princess uh, ranges, which have grown significantly. We've got our V series yachts, which is a sports yacht with an electric sliding roof, very tried and tested and well loved in the market by many owners. We've also got our F range, which is our flybridge models. And where the S sits is really in the middle. The S62 uh, is, is a fantastic boat that borrows from both ranges. It gives us the flybridge. It gives us the electric sliding roof. We also get a garage, but then we have fantastic performance from this boat, from the MAN V8 1200. So it's a model that just ticks so many boxes. And that's why the S range, what you will see is it's growing in size. We currently have the S62, the S66, and the recently launched S72. So it's a range you're gonna, only gonna see more of, and, and that is because it just does so many things so well. And on that note, let's go and explore a little bit more. Let's go up to the flybridge and uh, show what that has to offer. So here we are on the flybridge of the S62. It's a slightly more compact flybridge than our F-series boats, but to say it's small is really doing it a disservice. It's a really generous space. We've got the electric sliding roof ahead of us here. We've got seating to the starboard side with a, an insert which can be pulled out to make that a really nice lounging area. We've got our outside galley with the grill on the starboard side and fridge integrated, and then seating, wrap of seating aft there just in front of the radar arch. And then we've got this fabulous dashboard, all finished in the oyster gray metallic finish and upgrade, which really sets this off. And we just a very well appointed dashboard. We kind of got everything you'd want. There's two uh, Raymarine plotters. We've got a third one dedicated to engine displays. And then this boat is well appointed. So she's got the Seakeeper gyro stabilization, which is great for when you're underway. She's got the upgraded side power, power bow thrusters, bow and stern for holding the boat alongside so we can keep the boat pinned towards the dock, autopilot, VHF, remote control for the plotters, all the amenities you'd expect with, with a boat of this caliber. Really commanding view. It's worth noting on this boat as well, she's been upgraded with three Raymarine cameras. We've got an aft facing camera that you can have displayed on these monitors just to make it easier for when you're coming into the dock. And then there's two in the engine bay, just so you can keep an eye on those lovely big V8s um, and see them, see them on the screen. So here we are on the foredeck of Fizz. It's what we call a Portuguese layout, this, where we've got two big sun lounges with lifting backrests. We've got a table, a nice wrap of seating, 
great place for a sundown or maybe you're in a marina and you want a little bit more privacy from the aft of the boat it's a, a nice space to enjoy we've also got a speaker system with a speaker on port and starboard fusion head unit which you can easily link a phone to via bluetooth and then other upgrades the owner chose on this boat was the teak deck gives an element of uh, class and uh, luxury both on the side decks and the fore deck here and we've also got a stainless steel ultra anchor which would be an expensive option and then there's a nice little touch next to it a bar's been added in the locker there so you can easily stow fenders down tie the bitter end on just makes them that much easier for extracting out but there's also further storage we've got a locker here on the starboard side this is great for swallowing lines and fenders and the reason i say that is it just say it saves crew having to take them or family members having to take them off to stow them in a lazarette so it just makes life on board the boat that much easier I think we're going to have a look inside. So we're just coming down the starboard side here. Both sides got these lovely grab rails on this boat. We've got really high guard rails as well. And this is particularly diligent owned. So all the glass on this boat has been ceramic coated as well, because he obviously just wants to preserve it, keep it in excellent condition. One thing we neglected to mention earlier was the crew cabin we've got on this boat. So it is quite a compact space, because obviously we've got a garage as well, but there is a crew cabin there could be additional storage which is sort of a vertical access there on the starboard side but I think what we want to do is head on in and look at this beautiful interior so as we step into the interior of the boat we have this galley aft layout which tends to be very popular very modern just allows easy serving of food from the galley to the aft deck or up to the flybridge whatever suits your needs we've got a large fridge with freezer underneath four burner hob with extraction, upgraded uh, combination oven there with drawer dishwasher below. And this whole interior is finished in this beautiful satin walnut. Lots of curves on as we come to expect with Princess and tends to be the most desirable option within the range. We've then got an internal seating area. So obviously we can deploy this if we want more people for eating inside. Great for breakfast or if the weather's, weather's less clement. So as we step up into the main part of the saloon here, this is another one of the big strengths of this boat. We've got this ability to really open the S62 up. We've got this electric sliding roof. We've got an electric window both on port and starboard. So you can open the boat up if it's a nice day. But we've also got air conditioning. So this boat's got an upgraded 17 kilowatt Onan generator. It's got air conditioning linked to that as well. So you've got lots of options as how you ventilate this boat got this big wrap of seating on the port side very comfortable for lounging nice marble topped coffee table and then opposite us we've got a tv which will deploy electronics for your tracks and then we've got uh, an upgraded option by the owner which installed a, a wine cooler with a ice maker next to it so it's great for serving drinks but a really light bright area these huge windows we've got the blinds just down a little bit because we're in a marina so you can control that but with those up it's bathes this area in light, just a beautiful place to enjoy time. So here we are at the lower helm station of Fizz beautifully appointed just want to give you an overview of some of the equipment's fitted to this uh, this example of the s62 we've got our ray marine xl 16s so two of them of both helm stations would have been upgrade they're multi-function displays rather than just plotters so lots of things feeding into those we've got our three cameras that we can call up on demand we've got the radar we've got our transducer and we've got ais as well just the name of the few things that feed into those units We've then got a third Axiom plotter here, so that's dedicated for the engine data that comes in. It's fitted with the MAN 1200 V8, an engine setup that gets really punchy performance. So subject to loading and the fuel levels, this boat will achieve 37 knots, which is a heck of an achievement for a vessel of this sort of size. 
Working our way round, we've also got a Jaro Seakeeper 9 stabiliser uh, fitted on this boat, which is a huge option. And for those not familiar with it, it makes a massive difference to how these boats perform when underway. It really helps with stability, especially when you're going at the higher speeds and reacts very quickly to change. We've also got our throttles here, VHF. We've touched upon the bow and stern thrusters. Uh, we've got mirrored from the flybridge, so just great for controlling the boat when you come in. You can operate the anchor here remotely as well. We've got our autopilot, and these engines have only done 60 hours, so for many people, they barely run in. Just a great setup. Let's go and have a look down below. So here we are on the accommodation level of this boat, it's just down a few steps, this sort of lower lobby area. We've just gone past our breaker panel, which is around the side of the helm station there. Really easy to see what, uh, what you've got turned on this boat, where you can fire the generator up from remotely. You can see what, if you've got shore power coming on the boat. This boat is set out as a three cabin, two bathrooms boat. We've got the starboard cabin here as a twin cabin, but also it's got the option to join them electronically with two berths to make a double. All of the cabins have got the AV package, so that means you've got a TV uh, and a stereo system in each cabin. We'll have a look at the VIP cabin forward here. It's a really nice cabin, very elegant, very simplistic in its design, but showcases the quality that Princess are renowned for. Got this double center island berth, which sort of dominates this cabin. Got storage underneath, overhead lockers with storage, and that sort of showcases the grey matching that runs through this boat. We've got a big hanging locker on the starboard side. And then we've also got the TV mounted on the bulkhead, speakers in the deck heads with the fusion stereo system as well. We can also naturally ventilate it, both port and starboard side with uh, portholes in, in the windows. It's also got its own individual air conditioning as well. We've also got this heads compartment on the port side. So we've got direct access from this cabin. Typical princess in the way it's, way it's appointed. We've got this large shower area, lots of elbow space. We've got the Perrin and Rose sink and it's marble finish with the fresh water flush. It's just a very nice heads compartment. It also allows us the Jack and Jill arrangement so we can come directly into this lower, lower lobby. So if you want access to the uh, toilet during the day, it's a nice easy arrangement. So here we are coming into the master cabin. We've got this lovely ensuite heads compartment which is situated on the port side. We've got a Miele washer dryer which is just tucked in there under the steps. Great if you're on board for a longer period of time. And then we're into this beautiful full width master cabin. Fantastic headroom, flat floor, not easy things to uh, achieve on a boat when you're working within the confines of a hull design. It's just a glorious cabin, very simple, but beautifully finished. A lovely place to spend time. You've got these huge aperture windows. We've got a big TV on the bulkhead there with a stereo system with speakers fitted in the deck heads. What else do you need to say about this boat? You really need to step on board to experience it and just get a feeling of the serenity that this cabin offers. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll go upstairs and round things off in the saloon. Thank you for joining me for the tour of this S62 Fizz. I hope you've enjoyed it. We always enjoy bringing you these videos. And just to summarise, I mean, this boat is a fantastic model. The S62 offers so much, ticks so many boxes from that tender garage, crew accommodation, this sumptuous aft deck, flybridge, the huge performance from those MAN V8 1200s, electric sliding roof in the saloon, beautifully finished. It's a fantastic model. You can see why this S range is just going from strength to strength. Fizz offers a lot. She was built really well specced and the owners have diligently retrofitted a number of items as well. So I'm sure I've missed off a number of things. But if you'd like to look at this boat in more detail, see a full specification, a full photo set as well, please do look at our website. If you're interested in viewing this boat, please don't hesitate to call us. Mm -hmm.